Hi there, it's Lerald. This is my first video of 2018, so Happy New Year! Today I'm going to talk about the new legendary catch-up mechanic Blizzard is adding in patch 7.3.5, Purified Titan Essence. I'll also be breaking down how efficient it is with respect to my last video of 2017, the six best ways to farm legendaries. And you should definitely check that video out if you haven't already. So last weekend, Blizzard added Purified Titan Essence to Arcanomancer Vradil, the NPC in Dalaran who currently hands out the quest to upgrade legendaries to item level 1000. As of right now, it costs 175 Wakening Essence, the currency used for legendary upgrades. According to a post by Lore on Monday afternoon, a hotfix was added to the live game so that if you don't have any legendaries left to upgrade, you'll still receive Wakening Essence from the usual sources in-game. This will allow any character to stockpile Wakening Essence in preparation for the patch. Lore also said at the same time that they put in this hotfix that they'll be dramatically increasing the cost of Purified Titan Essence and the amount of Wakening Essence you receive from all sources. Their goal is to keep everything roughly the same in terms of time to reward, but make stockpiling mostly worthless. So, that kind of seems counterproductive to allow everyone to stockpile, but also make it worthless, but hey, whatever. Creating a legendary with a purified titan essence does not reset your bad luck protection, and this has been confirmed by lore. The tokens are bind on pickup, so that you won't feel obligated to farm on alts to feed your main, but if you use a token on a character that already has all of its legendaries, it will turn into a random BOA token for another class. On that note, as of the current PTR build, random BOA class tokens do not turn into tokens for other classes when used on characters that have already finished all of their legendaries. They still just turn back into the same token. This is a pretty big bummer. Hopefully it will be fixed before patch 7.3.5 goes live. At this point, all that's left to do is to tweet at Warcraft devs and post on the forums and hope and pray and cry. Now that the info dump is out of the way, let's get into the numbers of how much this will actually increase the legendary generation rate. And while we know that Blizzard is going to increase the cost of Purified Titan Essence, because they're supposed to increase the rate at which you generate Awakening Essence, let's just operate with the costs as they are right now. Just to recap, the five sources of Awakening Essence are the Weekly Mythic Dungeon Cash, Weekly Ranked PvP Rewards, Daily Heroic Dungeons, Emissary Caches, and Killing Bosses in Antorus. On average, this is worth about 175 Wakening Essence per week, which makes this all roughly worth one extra Legendary every week. Lore stated that they're going to add Wakening Essence to the first Battleground Win of the Day reward in patch 7.3.5 as well. So if that reward is worth as much as the Daily Heroic Dungeon reward, that would be another 5 Wakening Essence each day, or 35 per week. That's another 20% of a Legendary right there. Not shabby. Assuming you do absolutely everything you possibly can to acquire Awakening Essences, you should gain around 210 per week, which means you'll get a Legendary a little bit more often than every six days. As I laid out in my previous video, if you're really on the ball, you can average a Legendary every five or six days pretty comfortably. This means that Purified Titan Essence are roughly doubling your legendary acquisition rate. So between regular farming and Wakening Essence, that's a new legendary every two or three days. That's really good. If you don't do any PvP content at all, and I tend to fall into this category personally, that means you're missing out on 21 Wakening Essence each week from ranked PvP and presumably another 35 from daily Battlegrounds victories. That's 56 Wakening Essence in total, which means you're only going to average about 154 per week. In this case, you'll probably go about 8 days between Legendaries through Purified Titan Essence. With regular farming, that's about a new Legendary every 3-4 to four days, which is still not bad. Killing every boss in Antorus is worth about 50 Wakening Essence, and they will drop an LFR. So if you're still wanting to get Legendaries, 
I have to recommend LFR. I know. I I know. But it is a great way to farm legendaries, and I'm not thrilled about it either, but LFR is there if you need it. Overall, I'm a big fan of anything that increases legendary drop rate. More importantly, this puts a very measurable progress bar on the path to your next legendary. And that's something that probably would have made this entire expansion's legendary system a lot more tolerable for most players. Well, I think that about covers it. If you're feeling social, leave a comment or ask a question. There are links to us on Twitter and Twitch in the details. Like and subscribe, you know the drill, and thanks for watching. Bye.